Hello and welcome to Corporate Contracting. My name is Jamie uh, and I am one half of, uh, of our contracting company. Uh, and today we are down at the shop because we are picking up this wonderful beast. We have a massive field to do today. Um, Tom is already down there in our little combine getting cracking, but we're going to need something of this size to get finished. Uh, Dave is here. He's taking my, uh, my header because uh, this combine for some inexplicable reason doesn't have a rear hitch um so uh yeah so he's gonna take that down there he's then gonna go and get a chaser bin we're borrowing as well and uh and yeah so uh let's get to it because um yeah tom is down there so dave is gonna head off with the header he's gonna just drive on uh and then i'm gonna follow i'm gonna be going a bit slower than he is uh he will clear out any traffic ahead of me um, but he's, he's not going to wait so much. There we go. Uh, and once we got this lovely, fantastic piece of kit down to the field, uh, we're going to get started. We should have our trailer there by that point. Uh, and yeah, this is a huge field. This is a massive job we're taking on today. So I would, I would think this vlog is going to be uh, cut a few times uh, to sort of give you an overview of the job rather than uh, the full thing. Uh, it's, it would take way too long to do the, uh, for, for me to do a vlog of the full thing, it would be massive. So uh, yeah, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to head down there, we're going to head the other side of the river to Newlands Farm uh, and uh, yeah, I will see you uh, the other side. So I'm approaching the field now. You can uh, you can see it off there in the distance. This is uh, field 39, part of Newlands Farm, as I mentioned. And uh, yeah, it is it is pretty massive. It's full of soybeans, and uh, and we have uh, yeah we've we've got a lot to cut on it. Oh, Dave has dropped the trailer off for me, so I'll just give him a B. So thank you for doing that and uh, and yeah so you can see that uh, they've already got started on the field we're gonna hook up our header like so There we go. Uh, get my combine unfolded. Uh, and then we're going to follow around on the edge here that they've done. So you can see that they've, where they've already cut in. So we're going to uh, similarly cut in. Got to watch where I'm doing it though. So start her up. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut in a little bit here, so that I can uh, get at it. There we go. So it's one of those things where they've cut in a certain amount here. And there we are. So this is, this is a very nice piece of kit. Um, Look at that go. Right, so I am going to let, uh, so yeah, I need to let Thomas know that I've started. Uh, so uh, I will, crack on, so I can crack on. Hey there, Tom, do you read me? Well, hello, sir, how are you doing? Doing well, thank you very much. I have this magnificent case combine all set up and running, uh, and I am following you round the field now. I can only just see you. This field's so blooming huge. I couldn't see you to begin with. I didn't see you arrive. Oh, it's yeah, ridiculously massive. What I would say about it, though, from what I've seen, is the yield is not great. Uh, I think the the wet weather in the spring has hammered this, and it's uh, really struggling. So yeah, not expecting to fill the uh, fill ourselves up very quickly then. 
No, I'm about 75% round and I was just a little over half a tank full. Um, so we might not even need the chaser bin for a great deal, but we'll see how we get on there. Uh, we've, we've rented it for the day anyway, so we might as well see what it's like. Yeah, that's actually, that's, a, that's not a good yield at all, is it? No, no. So, I mean, I mean, we'll, we've got to clear it off anyway there. We'll let it, uh, we'll get this field done, but it's, it just, it's a bit very low. Like when you get down by the river on that far side there, it's, uh, it's very weak. It's a little bit better on the hillside here on the top where I am, but it's still not ideal. Ah, uh, that's, that's a pity. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, so I will, uh, I will continue chasing you around the field then and, uh, and see if I can catch up. No problem at all. We'll see you in a bit. Jamie, that, I'm just coming up to the end of the first headland now. Your uh, your combine head is massive. Yeah, I reckon it's about twice the width of our regular one. It's not far off at all. Yeah, I'd like the the what I'm cutting against what's cut ahead of me is um, quite alarming. I'm just I think. I was going to say, I'm just trying to see how full I am. I reckon, yeah, the chaser bin's going to be a good idea for me. Oh, okay. Well, I think it's... I'm going to go around and do this, the third headland. That might not be enough for us, given how wide are the headlands. If you want to do one more, so we do two each, that would work all right. But uh, I think we might get away with just three. I, I think we're just going to get away with three. It's, you know, looking at the width of this, I would have enough space to turn around in two. And if you're... You're basically half the width of me, then that's easily going to be enough space to turn around. No problem. I am uh, just starting the third one, and I, I guess I'm now chasing you. Yep, sounds like it. <laughs> uh, Dave has just arrived, by the way, so he'll be chasing you down shortly. Excellent. As soon as uh, as soon as the loading beep comes up, I will. Uh, I will get my uh, auger out and he can come and take the first load off. It's, I've just seen it for the first time. It's a nice looking chaser bin. You know what? I've not seen it yet. Because obviously he, uh, he ran off to uh, to grab it when he uh, dropped my um, header off. So. Mm. Oh, it's looking very good. And I actually managed to strike up a deal to get it. I, didn't, I spoke to him on the phone. I didn't get to see what they had. But I got a good deal for that. So we're... Uh, we're effectively loaning it for next to nothing for today. Excellent. That's fantastic. I'm having a little bit of trouble on the hillside. Oh, okay. The mighty class here just skipped up that hill. That's, uh, the, the header is grounding out. It's a little bit rough up here. It is a stony old little hill up there as well. I hope we're not going to have to plough that over. It's more the big bumps that the, uh, that the bed is grounding out of. I'm picking up a lot of dirt at the moment. Ah. Well, I'm coming up behind. I'm not far away. If you want to just uh, leave a chunk that I can tidy it up. Like, if you want to go up to the top end of the field and just carry on from there, if it's too much of a struggle. That's right. I'm bouncing the head up. There it's we go. I've made it past it. Beautiful. It's a beautiful afternoon here. The sun is glorious. Oh, that that waterfall is is absolutely amazing as well. I never knew that was here until I did the first headland. No, me neither. Tell you what, I've got I've got Gav Carton for me at the moment. He's got a lovely John Deere and trailer going. Yeah, that's a. I I, I think I saw he had a, a seven thousand series. Yeah, it's got the 7530, I think it is. It's looking great. Ah, Dave is taking the first load off me into the chaser bin. That is a, that is a handsome looking chaser bin. It really is. I think they must have got it quite, I think for this season actually, it looks almost brand new. 
It makes that, it does make that JCB look a little bit dinky there. The mighty power of the fast track. So yeah, as Tom was saying earlier, this is, uh, the yield on here isn't that great. I mean, we did fill, uh, we did get a fairly full tank up there. I mean, it was above the window. Uh, but I don't think it was, I don't think it was more than about 70, 75% full. Uh, but it is, you know, we are in a huge combine with a massive header and we got halfway around the field. So it's, yeah, and it's 75 cent full, so it would be, we'd get almost to fit around the field um, before we'd need to empty, uh, which is, yeah, it's not the greatest of yields. But it looks fairly healthy, though, for what it is, even if it hasn't got a huge yield on it. And this end of the field is nicer, as he said, than the bottom end. I mean, the bottom end must have been a bit wet uh, at some point. Uh, this is this up here is, is looking a fairly healthy bit of uh, bit of soybeans. So uh, yeah, we will see how it goes. We are filling. Yeah, our tank is filling up quite nicely at the moment. Uh, and there were those bumps on the other side that we just ground out. I'm hoping that we haven't damaged the knives at all. But we'll see how we go. I need to lift that out of this little combing. Comb is going too deep into the uh, stream at the moment. Alright, so I will just uh, I'll keep going. And, uh, I think I can hear Dave following behind me, so as soon as I get above the window again, I will probably empty with him again. Uh, but all in all, this is going quite well, and we're going to cut into the crop in a moment. Yeah, there it is. So uh, yeah, I just need to work out the best way to do that, and then we will uh, we will get moving on that. Just thinking, Jamie, when you get around that headland, do you want to kind of split this field up the middle and kind of make it so I'll do like some of the shorter runs and you do the bigger runs? Uh, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking if I took the bottom end of the field. Then, uh, then that's the the long stuff, and uh, yeah, I can I can cover that quite nicely. Sounds good. Yeah, you just um, I'll let you decide which way you want to split it, and then I'll just take whichever side looks smaller. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go pretty much based on the uh, on how it's been uh, drilled, which looks like it's north south. All right then. Looking nice in that machine. She is a beauty, isn't she? Not looking so bad yourself. That is that 208 is still a nice, nice combine. Oh, it's, yeah, it's still got plenty of hours on the clock. If it wasn't for the fact that we needed to cover more ground, I'd be happy to stay with this for a long time to come, but yeah. just not sure it's got enough in it. Right, I'm going to cut in here because I think this part of the field is the longest. Alright then. So there we are, we're now cutting into the field. Uh, going straight down. Uh, this is the, this I think is the longest part of the field. So uh, that should mean that we get um, we split the field quite nicely, and it means that with this combine we're doing the longer part. Uh, we should make it all the way down to the bottom here before we have to empty. Uh, I have no fear that uh, the tank will fill before we've got down here. So uh, yeah, we'll see how we do, and uh, and I'll catch it the other end. So we've cut into the uh, main body of the field here. We are looking pretty full, so I've put the uh, auger out for Dave to come and uh, fill up the chaser bin. Um, Tom is coming down the other side with the glass. And, uh, and yeah, we've opened up the field. The field is now open for us to go. So uh, yeah, we'll see how long this takes us to get done.
So the area we've opened up is getting a bit wide now. Um, Tom has started going through the bit to my right. So I'm going to go and cut in again on the left. Uh, so the other side uh, of here. So that we split up a little bit and, uh, and then we're dealing with the... Uh, I'm dealing with sort of the larger bit of the field. Uh, and then I can, I can work on a bit that I can then diminish down to nothing. Uh, which will be a good use of my uh, good use of the width of this combine. So I'm going to head over that way. Uh, we are we're not quite up to the window yet, so we should have enough space uh, to go and cut in quickly. Uh, especially because it's a shorter area we managed cutting at. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to have a go at. So again, we've opened up the field. Um, we are now basically going to keep widening this until the stuff we're cutting at the moment to be diminished. That came a little bit close, though, to uh, to us emptying. Uh, we had the uh, yeah, we were well above the uh, tank there with the uh, with our load, uh, but that is going to yeah, empty really quite efficiently. For great order on this combine and uh, yeah I think that is it done so here the pipe and Dave is stopping uh, and yeah now we'll just keep opening this up until uh, this side is gone and uh, and then move on to the next bit we still have an awful lot of field to go it's it's huge this field really really massive uh, possibly have done with two of these combines, but it's all right. We will uh, we'll get paid. We'll get paid a lot of money for this, which is which is quite good. Uh, so uh, yeah, it will be really good for corporate contracts on this uh, monster uh, payday for this field. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to crack on with it because uh, that's what I need to do. seems to be getting a little bit better as we're going into this field. I've entered a few times now uh, and the uh, the tank is filling up at a fairly steady rate. It's still not it's still not fantastic but it is uh, it's better than it was on the headlands which is which in all fairness is normally the case you know you normally get better yields in the body of a field than you do on the headlands but it's uh, it's better than I would have expected based on the headlands. Um, so yeah, we are we are doing nicely with it, I think, and uh, and and yeah, there's a there's a decent a decent crop coming off here now, uh, as we are just sort of working our way through it. There we go, uh, and we've we've got this open. We've we've broken the back of it now, I think. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's going well. So uh, yeah, we'll just continue on. So I've uh, I've now that I've opened that section up there quite large. Uh, it's it's more of a task to travel between the two sides. So I'm now just taking this chunk out here. Uh, it won't take very long, and then we'll be able to cut in again. Uh, we have emptied again, uh, so yeah, there is a fair amount coming off here, uh, and this, yeah, this chunk here will only take us two more, uh, sort of two runs here, so one down and one back, uh, and then we'll be able to cut in again. I don't think we're going to be so full as to have to empty before we cut in, so we should be alright emptying after we, uh, after we do that, but it's all, um, yeah, it's all going pretty well at the moment. So uh, again, it's uh, this combine is performing admirably, and uh, and we're getting a good amount off. It's, uh, yeah, not not a lot more to say about it than that, but it's uh, it is pretty good. I'm I'm pretty pleased with how this is working. Now this is one of the harvesting techniques that I want to cover um, that, that I like to talk about in these uh, in these vlogs. Lots of people, when they are 
face with a thin uh, strip like this. What they'll do is they'll do something like this, where they'll continue to sort of get it off to the side and, and try and line up the divider like that. But to be honest, there's no point. It's thin enough to uh, to sit in the middle, get as much of it in the middle as possible, and then you've got no risk of losing any at the edges at all. It all just comes straight into the middle, uh, which is which is absolutely the best way to do a thin piece of field like this. Uh, and uh, and so this would be the way I would recommend it if you are if you are faced with a thin bit like this, don't risk losing any of the edges. Stick it in the middle and uh, and there you go. That's the easiest way to, to make sure you harvest all of the crop. Okay, so we have this section nicely opened up now. Um, we are in a position where uh, we're good. We're over halfway through this field. Um, I think what we're gonna do is uh, from here to, to avoid me, you know, sort of <laughs> making a vlog that, that has too many cuts in it. I think we're gonna finish up here. It's uh, It's been a good run. We're, we're pulling in a nice load of yield off here now. Um, we're gonna empty out again soon. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with how this is going. So uh, really all the remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for the latest videos from cornbrook contracting please subscribe to virtual farmer and simulation for the nation and we will see you next time goodbye